Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this will be our April 2022 challenge inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. It's a, I call it a matchbook folio with expanding pockets. That's the only way I can describe this. It is something that I kind of saw somebody else do, and I changed it all up to be a version that I would might like to use. So you can see it's kind of chunky. And it's a long piece of paper that I have filled with little pockets inside that expand out and has little goodies inside. So let me show you what we're going to do here. First, we have to decide what size we want our little pocket to be. And so I was playing around with papers trying to figure out okay how would I want to make a little pocket to put in it and I cut some book pages in half now this one measures five by seven and a half use whatever you have make your pockets different sizes I'm going to take this piece and fold it in half somewhat straight and then I don't want this raw edge to show. So what I did was I just folded this down a little bit and I'll fold this to the inside. Okay. I'll go ahead and glue these down so that they're not sticking up. All right. So the next thing I did is I wanted to make this have gussets in it, which is a little bit different than the original that I made. So I'm going to put this on my paper cutter and use it as a guide to score. I'm going to score a half an inch from the edge and flip this around and score it again. And then I'll fold this on that score line. And then I opened it up because I want to adhere this together. So what I'm going to do is cut one of these flaps off each side. All right, so now I've got this piece. So I will glue on this little tab and close this up. And I'll give it a moment for it to dry. Okay, once that's dried, so you can see that we have a pocket that we can use the whole inside. You can stop there if you want and then skip forward to the next portion. What I'm going to do now is lay this on my cutting mat again and I'm going to score a half an inch down the sides one more time. And I'll do it again over here. So I scored down the sides. I'll fold it just so that it's easier to see. And I'm going to use my Distress Ink. Fold it the other way. All right, so I've made these score marks. And you're like, what are you doing, Linda? Well, I'm making a gusset. So I'm going to cut the corner off here and here. And then I'll open this up and push it to the inside on both sides. So now I have this little pocket that will expand isn't that kind of clever? All right, so I went ahead and I need four of these for my journal. And I've determined that's the size that I want to make my cover. So I've got a piece of book page, scrap paper, trash. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. And I'm going to lay this in my paper cutter and figure, okay. So these measure approximately three inches wide so I want it to be just slightly wider than my gus my little pockets on the inside so if I go to let's see is three and a half good enough three yeah three and a half will be good so I'm just going to trim this to be three and a half inches kind of line it up on my paper cutter here and it, this one's a little bit longer, so it's a little over 12 inches. So it does, if you don't have a piece that long, glue a couple together. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got some gel print scraps and pieces. So I'm just kind of looking through here, trying to decide what I like the best. I think maybe if I do something like glue that across here, maybe I will cut this one. I've got two pieces here. All right, I'm going to cut these to be the same length. And I'll glue these side by side on here. 
and I'm just going to continue kind of rotating and placing these bits and pieces of paper until I have this all laid out the way I want and then I'll hear them down hear them adhere them down I can't talk maybe that piece at the bottom okay I think that'll work all right so I'm going to glue this piece at the top trim off any excess So I've added papers to one side. I'll flip it over and let's just decorate the back side really quickly. I'll probably use some bigger pieces. So there's my strip all decorated with papers. I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with some Distress ink. On my prototype, I used a stamp to give the look of stitches so I'm going to do that here so I've got from the shabby stitches and I'll stamp across here and we'll go down the sides oh I guess I could do the top and the bottom while I'm at it I want to stitch in here but I don't want it to overlap so I'll just grab a scrap of paper and then stamp like that and then you don't have stitches coming past and I'll go down the sides so I have this portion pretty much designed what I need to do is put these together the way that I want them to show up in my folio I didn't distress the edges when do that real fast so I'm looking at this I know I want one to be in the front and it's kind of plain the way that it is so I think what I want to do is spray it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist before I put it together. And I've got Royal Peacock. This would be close to Curious. You could use Turquoise, but it's going to be a lighter color. But this is a pretty good color, I think. And I'll draw it with my heat tool. I want a pattern on here, so I'm going to use my Henna mandala it's a rubber stamp I have in my shop and let's stamp it over it a couple of times so that kind of gives us a little pattern on the one that's on the very front so the next thing I'm going to do is glue these and I found that if I just put a bead of glue you can figure out where your center is you can even fold it in half to kind of give you a guide where to put the glue but I just want a bead of glue right down the middle and then I'm going to glue the next one on top I want them to match at the bottom I'm going to do it again and do it one more time so now you have this expanding pocket here I'm going to do something a little different than the tutorial that I watched and attach it to a piece of cardstock. So again, I'll do it right down the middle and glue this on the back. And so now I'll have all these pieces and I'll have a pocket at the very back. So now what I want to do is look at this and figure out which I want my top and my bottom. And I want this to come up don't want it to be perfect so go right about there and fold that and then we're going to take this piece I'll leave a little bit of a topper so let's see one two three four mm, not quite four and a half inches maybe in case I want to stick a taller card in the back and I didn't need this longer piece so what I'm going to do is I want it to overlap a little bit I'm going to trim this off so right about there I do want to go ahead and stamp on here before I put it together so we have this portion okay and this is going to go in here this is going to go there now on my original I just put a piece of paper decorative on the front but I think this time I want to do something a little bit different I think I want to uh, have it where it ties shut 
So how do I want to do this? I think I want it to come all the way around maybe. I've got some ribbons here that I've had in my stash for a while. And what if, I think I like this idea. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to attach this. I'm going to sew it with my sewing machine right down the middle. If you don't have a sewing machine, just use a really good glue to hold it in place. In fact, I may put a little bit of glue on there just to help keep it in place. We'll give it a moment for that glue to dry and then I'll take it over to the sewing machine and we'll just zigzag stitch right down the middle there. I've got a regular sewing machine. We're going to do a zigzag stitch. It's set on two and a half and two and a half using regular thread, regular needle. Hey, if your thread keeps breaking on your sewing machine, two things are possible right off the bat. It could be really old thread and you could have a bad needle. Change out both of those and see if it doesn't sew better. Another thing is to also make sure that you have it threaded correctly through your machine. All right, so I have that stitched in place. So now what I'm going to do is glue this piece down in the back here so that I can use my little folio. So I'm gonna glue it as a pocket. So I'll glue here, here. So that will close down. This will go this way. I have my ribbon. I'll go ahead and tie it for now. That kind of helps let the glue dry before I decorate the inside anymore. I'm going to cut off the excess ribbon. I don't need that much. All right, so there's the inside. I've got some little elements here. I've got this little butterfly that I thought would be kind of pretty just to stick it on the front. And why not? Let's just make this another little tuck spot in case there's something you want to put in it. The digital images I'm using are from Calico Collage. I think this is from one of her shabby, shabby spring collection. And then I happen to have a really thin piece of paper. So I made these little envelopes and then I filled them with like, these are some stamped images. That's a library card stamp that I have. I have a tiny postcard. Here's a little label. Here's some words that I stamped that I thought would be kind of handy. And then these can go in the pockets and turn them around. Got another one here. This one has some apothecary images. I even made a faux fold up envelope that you can finish decorating. So you can write on that. Put that in here. Got a couple more. Let's see what's in this one. There's nothing in this one. You know what? I saw that piece of ribbon. So let's put this little piece of ribbon in here. And I thought I saw, here's another little piece of ribbon. So I will just tuck that down there. It's a good way to get rid of these little bitty scraps. Let somebody else play with them. Maybe you're done with that color or that theme. And this one has, oh, these are some words by Calico Collage. Different words. I put them inside here. That can go right there. And then I had a couple of these images from Calico Collage left over that I thought I could put back here in this back pocket. So we have this little expanding accordion file that has goodies in it. And then you can close it all up with the little ribbon that I put on here. Make your own version. Play with it. Get some scraps of paper out. You don't have to use your final paper on the prototype. Just make one. See what you think. See where you need to make adjustments that fit you. 
look at my ideas as a starting point to help you create your own thing. Create your own. Share it inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group for this matchbook folio. I think is what we're going to call it. And I'm going to be giving away some prizes to those who participate. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching No Go Live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Unless I'm on vacation, I'll have some recorded videos on those dates. And come and check out all of my connectors in the description box. If you need to know some more information, feel free to ask a question down below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.